Hi, good evening, how are you? I'm gonna give you a get ready with me. I'm gonna do skincare, hair care, bit of shaving, and what I'm wearing. Okay, so I'm gonna start with shaving. I'll try and link as much of this as possible, link in bio, etc. I love this. This is a multi-groomer. Change the head. I'm gonna put on this one. This is the trimming unit. I'm gonna start on a two. Okay, and then we're gonna take it down for a one. I love this tool. I'll put it in my like link in bio, shop, whatever it is. Um, but this just basically does everything. Trimming, shaving, toothbrush, it's kind of good to go. One I'm gonna do further onto here, the cheeks and then down onto the neck. And then I'm gonna change the foils. There you go. Okay, bold onto the neck and onto the cheeks. Okay, and it's been a busy old week for me. I'm down in London for an event. I've made such a mess in here. An event with Sainsbury's Beauty. They invited me down, so I'm down for just a couple of nights. Um, I've just launched my hair product, so I'm absolutely frazzled. But this is a good opportunity to get out of Edinburgh um, and to be doing some fun things. Okay, so next, the toothbrush. This again just changes. Clips on. There you go. This is my favourite. I've used this for years. Colgate Max White One. Keeps these semi-white without looking unnatural. Okay, with two pressure all around my mouth and hair all over me. Shower, and I'm gonna use in there, Malin Gets Foaming Cream Cleanser. Light, non-stripping, leaves my skin feeling great. Back to you in a second. Oh, it's too many mirrors, okay. So I am in London with Sainsbury's Beauty. They've got an event tonight at dinner. I worked with them last year on some of their brands that they've got in store. Um, this is not sponsored. They're just a really nice brand, really nice team. Okay, skincare. Okay, this is my Causerex toner. I put it in this just to make it easier. The label's coming off, this is a DIY. I'll give you a link to these little bottles too, super handy. Okay. And press that in. This is great if you have oily skin. It just helps to regulate that oil. You do need to let that dry in, otherwise you're gonna basically neutralize whatever you put on top of it. So at the same time, I'm gonna do deodorant. AKT, one of my favorite brands at the moment. I love these, a bit fiddly at first, but really great. You've got the deodorant, it's all natural, and then the applicator. Uh, this is lavender, I think, lavender, yuzu, and vetiver. Uh, just a really nice scent and really good to travel with. Turn the key, get a bit there. And this is ergonomic for the pits. Do, 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 do a bit much, Robin. A lot of people say, oh, if it's not got something, if it's not got something, it doesn't work. This really does work. It does work. Um, I am a total sweater and this does work. It was designed by two guys who were dancers, so they definitely know. And in the time that I've done that, this is dried. I'm now gonna use this, Niacinamide Plus Zinc by The Ordinary. Super budget friendly, really great. Niacinamide again is great for regulating oil. So if you are slightly oily, it's also gonna to help to even the skin texture and tone. I don't bother doing this dropper thing onto the face. It's bullshit. So I'm just gonna do this. I like this because it's not sticky. Okay, bit of under eye. This is just the bulldog. Really like this little roller ball, super easy. It's got rice, algae and maize, basically just to help get rid of those dark circles and energize really to kind of just boost this. Tap, 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 tap. It's the kind of thing I keep in the fridge because that was super cold. Final skincare step, Murad, oil and pore control mattifier. I've used this for years. It's got an SPF 45. It looks really heavy, but I promise you it's not. And again, perfect for oily skin. I will link as much of this as possible. If you head to the bio, press that. There'll be the links to my products, to the shop that I've got, and also to the Amazon storefront. So you'll be able to find the best prices. Okay, I have a couple of tiny little spots. I'm gonna get a little concealer stick way there. This brand I have used since I was 18. It's called Menergy. Forget about the name, honestly, but it's great. You get different tones, olive, dark, light. I go here. I am wearing a white shirt, so nothing is gonna go down below here, okay? Great for little shaving spots or in little nicks. Just a tiny bit, just to take the heat off the spot. I'm also gonna use a tiny bit of powder because it's the evening, it's an event, and I just wanna ensure that there's no shine. So just tap, tap, tap. This is non-detectable, I promise you. No one is gonna see this. You guys know I'm doing this because I'm telling you, but I, again, a brand I've used since I was 18, really incredible. I'm just gonna sweep. You can kind of see there, it's slightly darker. We are gonna blend that in. Take it out to the hairline. And there are loads of other brands that are doing this really well at the moment too, like War Paint, um, who I've been trying out and who I'm gonna be working with later on. Um, they've got some really great skincare 
and makeup products for solutions for under eyes, oily skin. So you'll see that coming soon. The telltale signs are always the hairline. Go into the hair. It will brush out, I promise you, especially if, you've, if you're going to style your hair. And then nose, just go lightly. Again, be careful of here if you're going to be wearing a shirt. So just stop, blend it out. See, I'm still the same colour. There's no tide lines. There's no orangeness. We're good. Eyebrow pencil. This is from Chanel, but you can get cheaper alternatives, honestly. This end, eyebrow up. This end, just to darken the eyebrows. You can see there, not a huge difference. Hello. You don't have to do this if you're offended by this. Do you? Okay, hair. Starting with this, pre-styler. This is my product. I can now actually talk about this. Amphor Texture Volume Spray. Like a sea salt thickening tonic hybrid. So to boost the hair, give it volume, to make it look thicker, but also add loads of this beachy texture. A few spritzes for a natural beachy movement. Load it if you want loads and loads of volume. Okay, I'm gonna get a hair dryer. Okay, rough dry without the nozzle first. Medium heat, fast speed using the hands to scoop, pick it up and move. Finish with the nozzle to help direct it. Am I the only one that does this? Cold shot under the bit. Okay, huge, huge volume, which I'm gonna tame in a second, but you can see hair looks thicker, it's fuller. It's bigger. I'm gonna finish on a cold shot just to seal the cuticle and up the shine of the hair. Okay. Yeah, it's big. Okay, some styling product. Uh, this is Sheer Revival Northern Lights. Again, just in a little tub. Just to make it easier, I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of this. Always emulsified, always. Forward. You can see there, the product's given loads of texture, so you could go for a down style or up. I like to do it and then almost mess it just so it's slightly messier on that part. So kind of like this and then push back and it just gives it this slightly more undone sort of finish. I like that. This is a tiny bit of fixing spray. It's a bumble and mumble one. I just put it in here just because I'm going out. I'm just going to use a bit of this just over the top. Fragrance, I'm going to go with this. Santel Carmen, uh, Carmen by Terry Cologne. Like this little travel size. Um, this is a woody, spicy, ambery gorgeousness. Like just a touch of gourmand, but it's got all that sort of uh, sandalwood warmth. I just think it's beautiful on the skin. And for a dinner, I think this is good to go. Okay, take it through there. Let's get changed. Shirt, little stripey number from H&M. I like this. It's oversized. Although it's oversized, I'm gonna tuck it because I like shape. I'm not one of those guys that can just like let everything loose. These are also very handy. I'll link these. I literally travel with these. I fold everything up. Cashmere socks from Johnston's of Elgin. My trousers have a coffee stain, but they're from ASOS Design. I've just seen the coffee stain. There's nothing I can do about it. Wide-legged, pink with just a touch of this kind of glittery stuff. I know a lot of you won't like this, but pff, meh. Well, it's from Florence, from a market. I very much haggled for this, but probably still paid over the odds. Shoes are just a little loafer from Zara. Apple watch with a strap I got from Amazon. I think I'm gonna take the sleeves up. There we go, so skin, natural light, not caked in anything, hair, fragrance, smell me. This is my look. I'm off out, have a good evening.